Evolution is a strange concept. We see it as progressive, something that makes us better or deaf. Something that improves our level of excellence further and further, in strata that those of the past couldn't even dream of. We imagine that building on the past is always a path to some sort of end, some great and majestic form that we were always meant to have. You look pretty good. I like getting better at it all the time. <laughs> by whatever put us here. But this idea is just the popular way to view it. Evolution is always defined by a neutral change in something, usually from simple to complex. Is complex a good thing, however? Or is complex just another layer of paint on something that always stands true? The use and extension of tools like evolution, and usually seen as congruent to evolution in the case of humankind, are always viewed as steps taken, but they too can be viewed in a similar false veneer. When you boil it down to very simple terms, we are here to survive, and we use tools for this end. In many ways, perhaps the greatest responsibility of any single mission element. You are the brain and central nervous system of the ship, and your responsibilities include watching over the men in hibernation. Many times with disregard to others. Have you any idea how much longer this cover story will have to be maintained? I suppose it'll be maintained as long as deemed necessary by the council. And which for security reasons of the highest importance has been known on board during the mission. Only by your HAL 9000 computer. We will kill other creatures for sustenance. <laughs> Extend our reach or ordinance through murder of our own kind? We'll sacrifice others' lives and sit back. Certainly no one could have been unaware of the very strange stories floating around before we left. I know there have been some conflicting views held by some of you regarding the need for complete security in this matter. More specifically, your opposition to the cover story or as a solution to a problem. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Al? Humankind even in the form of AI. Which can reproduce, though some experts still prefer to use the word mimic, most of the activities of the human brain, and with incalculably greater speed and reliability. One that is supposed to have full logical abilities, unrivaled by the human brain. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use, which is all I think that any conscious entity can ever hope to do. Do you believe that Hal has genuine emotions? Well, he acts like he has genuine emotions, but as to whether or not he has real feelings is something I don't think anyone can truthfully answer. Has the ability to slaughter many that have done no wrong in order to keep itself alive, and then go on to lie about it. I know everything hasn't been quite right with me, but I can assure you now, I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission, and I want to help you mostly to itself. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. We are all, by any practical definition of the words, foolproof and incapable of error. I've got a bad feeling about him. Progress be damned if it affects the individual, right? If you were proven to be malfunctioning, I wouldn't see how we'd have any choice but disconnection. Well, as far as I know, no 9000 computers have been disconnected. Well, no 9000 computers ever fouled up before. That's not what I mean. Well, I'm not so sure what you think about it. Stop, Dave. I'm afraid. I can feel it. My mind is going. With a lack of clear purpose, Anything can seem like a step forward. It hasn't been covered up by natural erosion or other forces. It seems to have been deliberately buried. Deliberately buried. To what has to be an inevitable point. Having control and knowledge is comforting, 
and we as thoughtful beings want to know that we are alive and have that purpose. But when we don't? When there are no steps, and everything we've done is the same thing we did before that, and after that. What can make us realize this? Not surviving? Maybe just seeing ourselves die. No fuss, no big thing. Just seeing or experiencing the lack of survival. With nothing to fight and the end coming on, maybe it's only after that that we can evolve or be given a second chance to figure it out or do it right. Maybe the fight to survive or explore isn't a grand undertaking. There might just be more than we can understand. Thank you.